Hello and welcome back to Rapid MMA. I'm Tyler and I'm going to briefly break down UFC 193, Stefan Strew versus Jared Rochold, happening Saturday, November 14th in Melbourne, Australia. A great matchup of styles in the heavyweight division and an opportunity for both fighters to ride the hype train that will probably be a very popular pay-per-view. As usual, please consider subscribing and use the thumbs so I know what you think of this content. Let's begin with Stefan Struve, a tall fighter with a lot of reach and power, but he doesn't use it as effectively as he could. Most opposition has been able to get inside and land because his output is fairly low and is very flat-footed. When he does use his kicks, especially to the body, it almost always forces his opponents to back up, even if it's for a moment. Stefan can't stand in front of his opponents and keep relying on his chin to take heavyweight punches. He needs to create distance, utilize movement, otherwise, even against a wrestler like Rocheholt, he's susceptible to being knocked out because he allows his opponents to find their range. For example, most of his losses come from a first round knockout or TKO. But in the fight against Mark Hunt, a three-round fight, we saw Struve basically giving Mark Hunt the opportunity to throw jabs, hooks, to gauge his distance before finishing him. This is the same thing that happened with Roy Nelson in the first fight three years prior. So in short, Struve's key to victory in this fight is to establish his distance. That way, he can control where the fight can take place. He needs to be smart about choosing when to engage at close range because without a doubt, there's a good possibility Rochel will take him down. On the subject to the ground where the fight will probably take place. I think both these guys think they have an advantage here, but Struve is likely to win in this position. Whether it's via submission or TKO, I think he's more comfortable being in close with his opponent, so that way he can tie them up or control their hips and mount. He's less likely to get KO'd here, but the danger is prevalent as we saw with this fight against Alistair Overeem. Even so, it's still the key to victory for Struve to control his opponent, whether it's with the range on the feet or controlling the posture and position of his opponent on the ground. All in all, I think if he uses sharp kicks to the body and combinations on the feet with effective jabs, he keeps this fight on the outside and can get the knockout. If it happens to go to the ground, it's important that it happens early, that way he has enough cardio to get the job done and the sweat hasn't accumulated. The longer this fight goes, the more I favor Rochelle to win. With that, let's briefly go over Rochold. He's a great wrestler that is even better at sticking to a game plan. Of course, his mistakes are most notable on the feet, even when he's trying to set up the takedowns, but it's not enough that Struve has definitive advantage against him. Of course, if either of these guys makes the same mistakes they always do, it's a flip of the coin of who gets knocked out first. Rochold is, without a doubt, looking to take advantage of the unbalanced, tall, lankiness of Struve. He'll get inside, look for the first opportunity to get it to the ground. This is where Rochelle can hold his own even against Struve's submission attempts. Rochelle's key to victory is to grind out a decision while avoiding the submissions. With this information in mind, let's get to my pick. Struve is healthier than ever, he's bigger than ever, and he's still young. Rochelle hasn't fought anything like a Stefan Struve or dealt with someone that's as dangerous as him with submissions off his back. I think Rochelle will have a tough time trying to get Struve down because the strike isn't striking isn't quite there yet. The best Rochelle can do is pressure Struve hard in the first round and try to get a knockout, but the likelihood that happens is pretty low. Whether it's Rocheholt or Struve that initiates it, this fight gets to the ground. Struve dominates position and gets a TKO victory, whether Rocheholt likes it or not. I think he'll get trapped and Struve punches him out. My pick is Struve, second round TKO. And that's it for my predictions. Please leave a comment with your opinion on this fight and click the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.